Oh, morning star, you truly are everything to me. Hallelujah. Is Jesus Christ everything to you tonight? Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Salamat po sa muling pagkakataon na iyong ibibigay sa amin, sa kalayaan po, sa buhay, sa mabuting kalusugan, sa wisdom, at sa iyo po mga pagpapala na aming tinatamasa. Lord God, malugod ka at maluwalhati sa amin pong ginaganap na pananambahan sa iyo ngayon. Aming dinadala ang aming mga sarili bilang hain at alay at handog na buhay, Panginoon, sa iyo pong paanan. At nawa kalugdan kami at matagpuan, Panginoon, na nakatakip at nakabalot po sa iyong banal na dugo upang ang katuwiran po ng aming Pinoon sa Kristo ang siya lamang makikita sa amin. Lord God, narito kami upang mag-aral at makinig upang iyong pagpalain at sa iyong pong salita kami ay mga bubuhay at magsilakas at magsilusog sa espiritual. Lord God, sa iyong lahat ng papuri at pasasalamat in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Again, kumusta kapatid? Umaasa muli ako na ang pagpapala ng Diyos ay masagana po sa inyo, sa inyong sambahayan at sa bawat isang nariyan ngayon kahit dito ka man sa Pilipinas o sa ibang lugar, sa ibang bansa. Hallelujah. Tonight, um, I want to bring a message which God has dealt with me because I have already studied about this uh, a lot of years back when I was in high school, when I was in college, and when I was in the Bible school, kapatid. Nakita ko po na ito ay totoo. And uh, every time I practice this, I can see big and great results. And when I'm not practicing it, mga kapatid, I walk in this world just an ordinary person. And so tonight, I would want to um, give you a blessing from God so that you yourselves also can experience the beauty of your speech using your tongue. That is the great gift of God for you. And if you learn how to use that, it will suggest and spell a reality in your life. So tonight, ito po ay pinamagatan kong your tongue suggests and spells reality. Do you believe it? Okay? I speak into existence that if you never understand your worst people are gonna pay you pennies only. Not even a dollar. They will only pay you uh, a very meager amount. If you want people to respect you, you have to understand your worth and you have to understand your value. You have to understand your value and you have to exercise your worth. Yes. Hallelujah. Speak out. Sabi natin, I'm gonna speak out. I'm going to speak out. Okay. Speak out about what? Speak out miracles. Speak out healing. Speak out power. Speak out abundance. Speak out success. Speak out treasure. Speak out wealthy. Speak out victory. Speak about good health. Speak about happy family, speak about your good future, and speak about God's blessings. Hallelujah. In Proverbs chapter 12, verse 18, it says there, that, speak it like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is health. In Proverbs 18, 21, this is confirmed by saying, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruits as children of God, as um, sons and daughters of God. Our tongue, 
our tongues have a lot of power. Praise the Lord. These verses prove how much good or bad our tongues, words can do. Your words are more powerful than you think. This power and responsibility is discussed several times in the Bible. Let us read some Bible verses about the tongue. Dila natin, kapatid. In Proverbs 13.3, it says there that he that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. In Ephesians 4.29, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. In Proverbs 10.20, it also says that the tongue of the just is as choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. In Proverbs 16.24, pleasant words are as an honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Hallelujah. In Matthew 15.18, but those things which proceed out of the mouth Come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. Praise the Lord. In Colossians 3.8, But now ye also put off all this, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. We have to take those things out of our, our mouth. Let's not speak about those things anymore. In James 1.26, if any man among you seem to be religious, kung mukhang, mukhang religious, mukhang makalios, and breedleth not, not his tongue, hindi mo pigilan yung dila mo, but deceive it his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Okay. James 3 Verses 3 hanggang 6, it says there, When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, Diba may bukado yung, yung kabayo? Hinihila, left and right, so that it would follow you. So, if we put bits into the horses' mouths to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal, or take sheep as an example, Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder. Wherever the pilot wants to go, likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by just a small spark. Isang kudlit lang ng apoy. Pospuro, sunog yung kabundukan. Consider, what great forest is set on fire by small spark. The tongue is also a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. James 3, 9 to 12 says, With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father. And it, with it, we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. With the tongue, we praise our Lord and Father. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? Can, can uh, my brothers and sisters, can a fig tree Beer olives, of course not. Or a grapevine, beer figs. Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. In Proverbs 29, 20, it says that, Seest thou a man that is hasty in his words? Careless ka sa words mo? There is more hope of a fool than of him. Because when you have spoken it, you cannot take it back.
Let us read the story of David and Goliath. We are very familiar with David and Goliath's story. It's in the Old Testament found in 1 Samuel chapter 17. And let's proceed to verses 29 up to 47. Uh, so that I will not tell the story, let's uh, read it fresh and direct from the Bible. And 29, and David said, what have I now done? Is there not a cause? 30, and he turned from him toward another and spake after the same manner. And the people answered him again after the former manner. 31, and when the words were heard which David spake, they rehearsed them before Saul and they sent for him. And David said to Saul, let no man's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go and fight with this Philistine. 33, and Saul said to David, thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he, a man of war from his youth. 34, and David said unto Saul, your servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion, a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. 35, and I went out after him and smote him and delivered it and out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by the beard and smote him and slew him. 36, thy servant is slew both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he hath defied the armies of the living God. 37, David said moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with you. 38, And Saul armed David with his armor, and he put an helmet of brass upon his head. And also he armed him with a coat of mail. 39, And David girded his sword upon his armor, and he said to go. For he had not proved it. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with these, for I have not proved them. And David put them off him. 40, and he took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag which he had, even in a scrip. And his sling was in his hand. And he drew near to the Philistine. 41, and the Philistine came on and drew near unto David, and the man that bare the shield went before him. 42, and when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance. 43, and the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. 44, and the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air, and to the beasts of the field. 45, then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. 46, this day will the Lord deliver you into mine hand, and I will smite you and take your head from you, and I will give the carcasses of the hosts of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and unto the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. 47, and all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear. For the battle is the Lord's, and he will give in, you into our hands. Amen. Now look, we know the end of the story that David was able to kill Goliath, cut off his head, and David become victorious. What was the inspiration of David, it was God. But of course, he has to foretell something. He has to declare by using his own tongue. He has to declare his own faith. He has to let the people know about it and hear about his declaration. Because what cometh out of your mouth comes from the heart. What comes in the heart comes from your mind. And what is in your mind is about 
your whole being and your whole faith. So speak forth the word. And that's the secret. Remember, you can change your situation by changing your words. Hallelujah. Proverbs 18.21 Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Let us emulate our Lord Jesus Christ. Take, uh, for example, our Lord Jesus Christ and let's follow uh, what he has done. In John 6, 63, he said, It is the spirit that quickens the flesh, profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. By the word of God, he created the universe and everything. But God did not only create us, he made us in his own image. That image of being God includes our tongue to speak for like God. And let us watch over our speech because I believe what you're gonna speak will come to pass. What you speak becomes your reality. I believe that this world is made up of Billions and trillions, and quadrillions and quintillions, so much more, of molecules. And these molecules would respond to your speech. Your brain can manufacture miracles by thought alone. And it depends on your faith if you can believe it. But there's nothing impossible with God. Instead of bragging, instead of boasting, why won't they speak up by faith? Say it. The Lord is going to bless me. The Lord is going to answer my prayers. The Lord is going to take out my yoke and my burdens. And it's going to solve all my problems. I can pay all my debts and it will be over. I shall be free because the Lord has set me free. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Amen. Hallelujah. According to Matthew chapter 12, verse 37, for by your words you shall be justified. And by your words you shall be condemned. So that's up to you. The devil will not know your thoughts unless you say it. And if you say something that favors him, he'll clap his hands. But if you say things that favors God and yourself, the devil would frown and he's not going to be happy because wala po siyang magagawa doon. He cannot do anything about what you have positively said. And by faith, in the name of God, we have all and we have everything. Hallelujah. So, in conclusion, if you really want great and beautiful things to happen in your life, what are you going to do? Of course, you want those things that would make you happy, blessed, healthy, wealthy, I must, and you must use your tongue. I must use my tongue to speak great things for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Then blessings will start to fulfill my reality in God's time. Because it says all things work together for good to them that love God even to them who are they called according to his purpose. My only uh, qualification is to love God with all of my heart, with all of my mind, with all of my soul, and with all of my strength. And if I can do that, if I have rendered it to the Lord and God would stamp his okay sign, then everything is going to work for my good. 
So I better speak up. Speak up great things for the glory of God. Never speak negatively. You better close your mouth. Do not speak anymore. No speaking, no mistake. If you are unsure of what you are going to say, just keep quiet. Hallelujah. Amen? Uh, kindly subscribe to our channel to get notification of all our upcoming videos. Uh, please click the subscribe button uh, down, down below. My notification bell po dyan, kapatid. And then, uh, hallelujah. God bless you. You can um, return and watch our videos. You may even download it if you wish to. And that's all yours. So, God bless everyone po. Magandang gabi po sa lahat. Hallelujah. I'm glad you are here with us tonight. And thanks for joining. God bless us all.